It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it comes your way next. From the West Coast, we're coming to you live from the NFL's newest and the world's most expensive stadium. State-of-the-art SoFi here in Inglewood, California. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their belt cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Here to begin this one is Cameron Dicker. And up we go from so far. Here comes Williams on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. We are brought out by the fifth round rookie out of South Carolina, Spencer Rattler. Everybody's going to remember the 2024 draft class for the six QBs taken in the first 12 picks. What they may not remember is the next guy is this guy, Spencer Rattler, all the way in the fifth round. He had to wait his turn. And remember something about Spencer. He was incredibly highly thought about a high school, a five-star from Arizona. Swung it around in Oklahoma for Lincoln Riley before ultimately transferring to South Carolina. And yeah, while the draft stock may have plummeted over the years, the talent, the ability to spin a football, and just some of the charisma he brings to the position, that certainly has not dwindled. Second down now, seven to go. They motion the tight end over. They give on second to Camaro. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the play, though. That leaves him a third down and six to go. They'll motion him out of the backfield. They're going to throw it on third and long. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. the Saints punting unit. And this will put it in to the drive after it's stalled out. And he's hit before he can get anything on that return. So now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Chargers take the field. They'll be let out by the fifth-year pro who can really fill up a stat sheet, Justin Herbert. 
True story. First time I saw Justin Herbert at a Pac-12 media day, so I thought, that can't be Justin Herbert. That guy looks like a defensive lineman. He is massive. But then you watch him play, and you realize he's one of those six foot five, six foot six guys that's the athlete of a 6'2", the way that he moves so effortlessly, the way that rocket arm could throw the ball all over the field, and hyper, hyper productive statistically, kind of like that Fouts guy that wore the lightning bolt before him on any given Sunday, this guy can put on a show. All right, here we go, second down. Working from the gun here, it's Herbert. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. That's gonna leave him with a tough third and long. Shotgun snap to Herbert. That one incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, they're not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. So on fourth down, here's J.K. Scott on to punt it away for the Chargers. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. Collects this to the 32. And he's brought down before the return gets far. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Saints will get set to take over. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Camara now on first and ten. And having gain up about a handful there. Stopped by Dayon Henley. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group and he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Right? Grab some cloth and drive him to the ground with all you got. They stay on the ground with Camaro. And we're looking a couple yards past the line. Logan Gilman up from the secondary for that tackle. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. backfield now. The running back motions out left. From the gun on third down. Well caught by his running back. Oh, play didn't develop like he needed. He goes out behind the line. Well, that's one of the moments as a QB you just feel like those defenders are in your huddle. To drop them for a loss on third down can happen. That's an incredibly quick read by the defense. They'll bring out the punter here. Darius Davis returning for the Chargers. And he doesn't put much height or distance on that one. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. So the L.A. offense getting out there for their second drive. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he'll get up near the 38 yard line before going down. That play good for 17 and a first down. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL, and so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. Here's Herbert, first and 10. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. And he's 
going to send that one away incomplete. Great defensive effort to reject that one. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can't get the pick, at least make sure a catch isn't made. That's the job of every defender out there. And he made sure that one wasn't completed. Second and ten now, Herbert. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Just watching from the booth, that looked like a last resort to go take that check that he wanted to push the ball down the field, but there was nowhere to go. He looked shorter, and this defense was ready to make him pay. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Herbert from the gun. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you gotta earn your place there. The easy way to do it, catch it just like that. Going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. New set of downs for him from the 46. First and 10, here's Herbert. Finding Hurst. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Carl Gray and in on the tackle. Offense to the line for second down. Now an inside handoff to Dobbins. And he's swallowed up in the middle. No gain on the run. And play wrapped up by Demario Davis. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First and 10, Herbert. To his back, J.K. Dobbins. Duke the defender. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain at a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And now they have a first and goal. Got to be a pretty good actor. Got to be pretty good at it. selling to that defense. Now that's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on the screen like that, boy, it's choreography by everybody on that offense. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. So the incompletion on first, here's second and goal. Herbert to throw once more. He's got it! We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Rob. That one, that one's kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there. Yeah, because they want to put a touchdown on the board. Now it's Cameron Dicker on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Chargers will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Now to return it. He 
stopped on the return of the 27. The New Orleans offense set to go now. And they're hoping they can keep the puncher off the field this time around, Brock, after he's been called upon each of their first two possessions. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Rattler back to throw. Wilson's got it. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. For a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They'll run the toss for Williams. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. Third and a long yard. Difficult six. The penalty makes this a third and six. Throwing his rattler. And they can't connect on the third down deep shot. Look the courage they had to try it. But it's incomplete, and now we got fourth down. It is such a weapon offensively when you've got a big tight end that can stretch the field vertically. Not a lot of DBs have the size to cover it. Try to get it to him in that spot where he can win it, but unfortunately, no connection to be made. Fair catch called for and made at the 35-yard line. No return on that punt. And the Chargers take possession. The Chargers offense getting set to take over. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. Herbert on first down. Completes this one to Rice. This is ahead for about five. Brought down by Tyron Matthew. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Straight ahead, here's Dobbins. Looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Really gay there on the tackle. Third down, one yard to go. Again, they'll run with Dobbins. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. It's results like that that drive coordinators nuts. Premature balding, gray, wrinkles, all of it, Kate. You call something conservative. The last thing you're thinking is you're going to lose yards on a third and one run. So once again, J.K. Scott out to punt it away. And this will be his second effort of the contest. His first effort went 47 yards. Brock looks to have a little more into this one. And he'll bring in this fair catch at the 13. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Saints are going to have some work to do as they take over. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. They're going to start on the ground with Camara. Stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. 
Neither side separating much so far. We're back to SoFi right after this. We're back for the second quarter. Saints in possession of the football. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. They give to Camaro, left side. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. That's Denzel Perryman in on stop. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. the punt team and the kicks away and before that return amounts to much they bring him down that one in the books is a 48 yard punt and it'll be their football possession switching back to the LA offense as they head out throwing on first is Herbert has him on the quick hitter and he'll be brought down a step or two shy midfield they're going to mark him at the 48 a nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down on the interior. Nine times out of ten, that O-line decisively won their matchup with the big fellas up front. They got those pads down. They created leverage, and they opened up that running lane. First and ten from the 41. Throwing now, Herbert. Short pass brought in. And that's good for a gain of five. Will Gay there on the tackle. To the line they go. It's second down. On the play fake, it's Herbert. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. You know, Kate, defenders today are top. Don't just go get the sack. Go get the sack and the fumble. It's become an art form. Making that strip sack and that play was a masterpiece. The Saints come marching onto the field. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Running back sent in motion. Throwing now following the turnover. For the right side, cut by Olave. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. In a good spot here, second and inches. Here's a give inside to Camara. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Go ahead. Find me an offense that won't take that type of efficiency on every snap. Listen, it's good execution, a quality game, and it moved the sticks. Ball at the 33 for first down. It's in a hand, has about five yards. 
Brought down on the effort by Derwin James. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. start a good debate sometime Kate go in an NFL locker room and ask which position is the best athlete <laughs> the big guys the left tackles will tell you it's them the corners will tell you it's them but I'll tell you what these tight ends of today the way they can run and break tackles and get in the open field they truly are some of the best athletes on the team they'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal close in the red zone you know they're upset they couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown it's only half the points but at least there's something to show for the possession we've got a good one here they've cut the lead to four as they send it away he feels it from the eight he's got a lane up past the 30 he showed some burst on that return getting them all the way to their own 40 now la getting its offense all set to go and their defense held up after that fumble. Only gave up three. So time for this offense to make it up to them. Get some points of their own. Beginning on the ground here with Dobbins. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. When you call that first down running play, you don't always expect to get those kind of yards. But they'll take that every single time. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Here's Herbert, first and ten. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. All right, here we go, second down. Running it again with Dobbins. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. But partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. They'll run here, following the penalty. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Sent to the ground by Pete Warner. He gets a couple and it'll bring up third down. To 
the air this time. Herbert Johnston brings it in. And he's officially in enemy territory now. And they're going to give him the opposing 49. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, you do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. New Orleans back on offense and ready to go now. And they settled for a chip shot field goal last time, Brock. You gotta think they wanna be able to finish it off and reach the end zone here. They're out and set, first and 10. Looking to throw, Rattler. Throw left side, complete. He finds 37 yards on the play to move those chains. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. Running behind center with Kamel. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, you know, it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Rattler setting the throw. his return from the 23 and he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return the Chargers are getting the ball back as J.K. Dobbins runs out there they didn't add to their lead last time out so they punched it away but still ahead and able to add to it here Dobbins gets it off the option and the defense gets there to force a small loss to the line for second down. Herbert from the gun. Hurst there to grab it. Going right there. Looks like about six. Brought down by Paulson Adebo. The Saints add a fifth defensive back here. Third down coming up. Shotgun snap to Herbert. And that one hits the deck. No fear from them trying to go deep on third down. You love that. Don't love the fact they couldn't connect. Fourth down coming up. You know what I like about this shot down the field, Kate? It keeps a defense honest. They know defensively if we overcommit, we could get burned deep. J.K. Scott on the punt. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. Takes it in at the 21. And he's brought down before the return gets far. 58 yards on the punt there. And the Saints will get set to take over. The Saints ready to return their offense to the field. 
They're getting close to a minute to play, Brock, and they're going to need that time with a long field ahead. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. Toward the sideline and cut by Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds at his own 45. It's a pick up of 14 yards as the chains reset. That's a pro's pro right there. That is one heck of an experienced catch. He made sure to secure the ball, but he also knew exactly where the sideline was to get the feet down. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Here's Rattler. before halftime. Let's see what they dial up on the second and very long. Trying again, following the set. And oh, he drops it. He had all the space in the world. Brock, he got behind the defense. And he just looked away before he brought it in. A big missed opportunity. You know, that's one of those situations you want to get your back in space. Well, you accomplish that. Unfortunately, you don't make anything happen because you don't bring the ball in cleanly. It's Kamara on third down. And he'll get it up to the 44. Timeout called by the Chargers. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Here comes the Saints punting unit. Darius Davis returning for the Chargers. And he can't evade the coverage team for Munch. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. Officially an even 40 yards on the punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. First and 10. Here's Herbert. On target to Dobbins. secondary for the stop. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Working from the gun here, it's Herbert. Got a man, Palmer has it. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. L.A. uses a timeout here, it's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Back to throw, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Eight seconds left now. He can't hang on to the pass. And that'll bring up second down. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. One final shot before halftime. And he's looking to get something done. They take him down. So that's how our first half's going to end. A momentum-building play for their defense. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We're accustomed to seeing strong quarterback play. We got that in the first half from Justin Herbert. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. 
All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Darius Davis to return it. Good looking return here, and he's got room. He'll take over at the 39-yard line. Nice return there. Here come the Chargers for their first drive of the second half. And it has been all about these defenses so far, Brock. Even into the second half, we're still waiting for one of these offenses to take charge. Yeah, what you're feeling, these defenses are making every yard tough, every first down tough, every series tough. And offensively, yeah, it's time to toughen up, and maybe more importantly, sharpen up. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Carry here for Dobbins. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Going to the ground again on first. Second and six coming up here. Well, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running it after the penalty. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Herbert with a blitz coming. And first down pass. Denied by the man in coverage. And now they face second down. That's just simply great positioning to swat the ball away. He stayed in a spot where he could disrupt the throw before the target and make a play on it. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. It's a give here for Dobbins. He'll drive it forward but won't get beyond the line. Really gay there on the tackle. No gain on the play. And they still need 10 now on third down. some effort, took some rallying to the ball late, but they got him down before he could move the chains. I expect there a little sense of relief on that defensive sidelines that that play didn't hurt them even more. So on fourth down, on comes Cameron Dicker and the Chargers for a field goal try. It's a 36-yard look from the left hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And add three to their lead as it extends to seven. You always feel like you leave a few points on the field when you kick it from here. But they don't wind up empty-handed on the drive. And the kicker, he gets to pad his stats a little bit with the high percentage make. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. He'll now to return it. He stopped on the return at the 27. Here comes the Saints offense. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through. Get some points for their team in this low-scoring affair. Throwing his Rattler. 
He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When he saw the field, it's going to be second down. Just a juggernaut with the football, and once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him and play an add on with those yards. Who set it down for him at the 38? They kick the running back in motion. That's complete to Camaro. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. This running back is a mismatch maker. <laughs> That's how I label him on my little sheet right here. Right under his bio, this guy just creates matchup nightmares for every defender on the field. Camara now on first and ten. He's contained at the line for no gain. That's Denzel Perryman in on the stop. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Blake Groupie to try the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Saints tie things 10-10. Chargers back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And the running lanes, and they've been hazardous. Not quite the decorated collection of highlights from him that we're going to look at here. Those big plays, the explosive runs where he leads an offense, just haven't been there for him in this one. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. He'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he's almost at it worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Marshawn Lattimore up for the secondary for the stop. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. <laughs> Herbert now off the play fake. Catch made left side by McConkey. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. The better runs right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. 
I'll tell you this, Kate, they doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's two in your homework. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction with how well the defense had that one covered. The Chargers lined up in punt formation. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. He's got it at the 24. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Saints and Chris Olave ready to take over once again on offense. In that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. defenders start to think how many more can I tally up before this one's over still a bunch of game time in this defense oh they're feeling it back to the line they go it's second down another try following the sack this is reeled in by Kamara. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. Okay, I know exactly what's going to happen. I've seen it once. I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> Next week on the practice field, this running back's going to say, See, I'm not just a running back. I can play receiver. And you receivers, you couldn't do my job. And I just showed you I could do yours. From the gun on third down. with so many sacks as it just disrupts everything in the rhythm and timing of your offense. All of these negative plays. Hey, this league and this game is hard enough when you're on schedule. All of these sacks set you behind the chains when you've seen how disruptive it is for this offense. So out now comes the punter. And this is going to put him up to six punts today. And he hauls it in right near the 40-yard line. The Chargers returning their offense in this running back to the field. So the Chargers start off with good field position as they get ready for first and 10. Straight ahead, here's Dobbins. The flag's down as he stops. It looks like this one's on the offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Herbert now. This ball's cut by Palmer. We have him gain about a handful there. Brought down by Paulson Adebo. All right, here we go. Second down. Dobbins trying the right side. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Saints with six DBs out there. We've got a dive look for them on third down. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. This guy, Kate, he can create. He really is good out there. He's skilled when it comes to getting outside the pocket, which makes it all the more impressive. They contained him so well when he was clearly, clearly looking to generate something with his legs. They're out now, ready to punt it. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. And that punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And they're going to take over possession. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Try 
Trying to throw here out of the gun. Connects with Johnson. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. It's also Williams headed right. Up the sideline, past the 45. And they'll finally get him at the 47-yard line. Big game, 14 on the play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. These running backs love getting the open field and the best of them. They're not even looking at the man right in front of them. They're looking at that next level to get a chunk run like that. Rattler setting the throw. Camaro's got it. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is the completion percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, a big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers that time, running back in the flat. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Looking to throw, Rattler. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. For three quarters, we're still neck and neck. Neither side has been able to fully separate. Well, we didn't see either side separate through three. It's all tied at ten to begin the fourth. Punty muted out now. And he'll try to get this one well. Fair catch made here at the 30. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Chargers take possession. Their offense ready to take the field now. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Throwing on first is Herbert. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Yeah, this is a time where offensively you got to regroup. You got to get in that huddle. You know, and quarterback is the most important leadership position. Everyone's looking at you. And as a QB, after taking a sack like that, golly, you got to flush it, instill some confidence, and move this ball forward. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Trying again, following the set. Finds McConkey. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Okay, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes just like that. On third down, Herbert. They said they're gonna get there and they drop it. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. As we're into the fourth quarter, we know this. We know that money down could not be any more important than right now. Both sides are certainly fatigued. You feel it in both their play. But battling through what's been a physical contest all game long, gonna be the key here down the stretch. On now comes their punter. J.K. Scott will kick it away. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. 
Fair catch called for, and he brings it in. Looks like right at about the 29-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And they'll get ready to go on offense. First and 10 now from the 30. Now Rattler. And it's incomplete. We're looking there, too. Nearly picked off on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's Rattler. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. He was there and just couldn't corral it. So now it's going to be third and long. I love the thought there and the idea. Get your guy in space. But he can't make anything happen until he catches it cleanly first. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Rattler to the air now. That's caught for the first. And it'll be brought down after getting to the 47-yard line. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless. He took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. They'll throw it again. Hits his running back. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in the phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Now empty the backfield and motion him out. To the sideline and caught by Wilson. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers are also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. This is reeled in by Wilson. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Situational football. Looking at first and goal, these defenses know what's coming at them. More often than not, a run play. It really is better to throw the ball unless you've got a way to disguise the run, and there was no disguising on that one. Second and goal coming up from the seventh. A tight end in motion now. Camara running out of the gun. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Only a yard on the pickup. That leaves him with third and goal at the six. When you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. Rattler back to throw. Has it in close. It's an Orleans touchdown. Well, this has definitely been a tight one throughout, Brock. So now that they've taken the lead, the question becomes, can they hold on to it? And that question right there is one the defense has to answer. 
But this sure had the look of a drive where a coaching staff challenged that offense, saying, hey, we need a big drive from you guys right here. And sure enough, that offense delivers. Yeah, no doubt. Groupie to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Saints break that tie and now lead by seven. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. On the return, here comes Davis. Stopped on the return of the 27. The Charger offense making its way to the field. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now an inside handoff to Dobbins. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. A split second, all to kept the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split second reactions. A nice bit of burst search forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. First down, and they go right back to it. Across midfield to the 45. Gets this shot all the way to the 31 yard line. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Best run games in this league at balance. Can run it inside, and as they just showed right there, doing damage on the outside. They've got first down from the 31. Here's Herbert. Hauled in by Dobbins. And this one does not go far. You know, Kate, it is so nice to have a running back that can catch it too. And a pass catcher that is so good in a select package of plays just like that through the air. That screen is devastating to a defense when you got a runner that can catch it like that. From the 29. Trying to force one through there. And that takes them to third down. Well, when a defender can get his hand on a pass in any way, good things usually happen. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Herbert from the gun. Chains after that pickup of 12. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Herbert throwing again. just gorgeous football right there he saw the window just had to wait for his guy to flow toward it and that pass fit in beautifully for the touch well we knew this was coming all touchdowns are reviewed especially late in a close game like this at least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play we're gonna get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got yep technology everybody's friend right now we get to watch it again and again unlike these officials we got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? 
So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stands. The kick is going, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. Hill now to return it. And look at this return. They'll begin from the 36 as the returner's brought down. The Saints and Spencer Rattler coming out for their next drive. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and ten coming up. They're going to start on the ground with Camaro. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Good and five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. Sure, a whole lot of noise to sort through up the middle, but by the time he figured everything out, he was able to hit them for a decent game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Running right, it's Camaro. Four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Throwing now. It's an eight-yard gain. What a great call on fourth down. It keeps this drive moving. I love those moments of truth. We get to see exactly how they handle it with all the pressure that drives right on. And turns out, handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing on. Running behind center with Camaro. And he runs this one down to the 22-yard line. Good run. Gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Timeout here. 
It's second. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. drive kill. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Here's a give inside to come out. And he'll go down here at the 16. That's five. It looks like on the play. So now it's going to be third and eight. Here's an important kick now for Blake Groupie. He connected once, and a good chance here. This is inside of 35. Your kick is good. He got it. And the third time he puts it through will be the charm. They won it. So it's a win for the Saints. And with overtime in their back pocket, they weren't going to lose it at the end, but they still managed to set up the field goal, and he executed the game winner. What a memorable way to win it. So for my partner, Brock Keward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott, saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. It's a win for the Saints as we say goodbye from Los Angeles.